you guys doing? This is Andrew at Flory PB. We're going to do the manual or the verbal man, eh, the video manual for this uh, 2K5, 2K6, Gen 3, Gen 4 uh, Intimidator board. Functions just like the rest of my DM style boards. Your power button's on the top, your I button's on the bottom. Your dip switches are accessible right here. Dip switch 4 is when it's up. It's in programming mode, and you can program it by holding the trigger, pressing the power button, release that, let the light cycle, and now we're in programming mode, which will go over all the programming as you know the video goes on. If we want to check our battery or we have to put it in tournament lock, take dip switch four and flick it down. And now if you hold down the trigger, Those four flashes, those four green, green flashes are is telling us that the battery is full. It's a scale of one to four. One flash means your battery is almost dead. Two means you're about halfway. Probably should change it about there. Three flashes, three quarters of the way. Four flashes, full battery. And then you're just shooting. Uh, yeah. There's four shot. There's eye malfunction mode. If it doesn't see a gap. It's going to start flashing, and when it's flashing, means your eyes are, are malfunctioning. They're dirty, broken, something happened, uh, but it's not working. So it's going to bring the, the shot cycle down to 10 balls a second as just the bare minimum if you're shooting faster until that gets cleared or until you turn the eyes off, which is the bottom button. And then it'll just do whatever you want at that point. We're at 10 ramp right now. But that's dip switch four. We're going to put that back to uh, unlocked. Dip switch one, if you turn it off, it gets rid of the anti-bolt uh, stick. Up is on. Dip switch two is your anti-mechanical bounce. Um, that's basically when you're, sh you're pulling the trigger slow or you're shooting slowly. It prevents the additional bounce from a, from a slow pull or a mechanical bounce issue as the, gun as the marker vibrates. Um... Normally that doesn't matter too much, especially like an NXL style mode. But if you're playing like uh, an Iron Man with it, it might actually matter to keep your anti-mechanical bounce on. Dip switch three is a rate of fire command for your eyes, and that mostly deals with your uh, your parabolic ramp or your extra ramp. It's kind of a not a great feature. It's whatever at this point. Just leave it on. It works great. And let's from there, let's go into the actual programming. Again, to program it, we have to have the dip switch four up. Pull the trigger, hold the power button, let it turn on, let it cycle. The first one's green. Green is our dwell. Our dwell is preset right now at 12 milliseconds, uh, kind of like a Tadao board or a, a Virtue board. Uh, it's one millisecond increments. After that is rate of fire is red. Uh, it's preset to 10. You can change it from 1 to 40, whatever you want. Purple is next. This is your anti-mechanical bounce. This is set to 5 milliseconds. It's kind of the same way as D-bounce is set up. Make it higher if you're getting bounced. Put it lower if you want. Doesn't really matter. Next one is teal. This is our ball in breach delay. So when the ball comes down and, and drops into the breach, it's how long it has to stay with the eyes broken before it lets the marker shoot. It's set to 1 millisecond. Or, yeah, set to one millisecond. This one is the one that's in half millisecond increments if you want to adjust it and delay it more because your hopper might be a little slow or something like that. Next is yellow. This is our fire mode. We have four fire modes on this. One pull is semi. Two pulls is automatic. I use that for testing a lot. It's very, very handy for that. Three is your NXL legal ramp at whatever rate of fire you set. And four is a parabolic ramp, so it just starts shooting a lot quicker the quicker you pull it the faster it shoots but again it's based off the global rate of fire you have to set your rate of fire up to get any kind of speed out of that next is white white is your incremental balls per second so the legal rate is 10.5 if you want to sneak up to 10.5 and see how close you can get this gives you 0.1 increments so it's originally set at one you can check or you can so the way this board works you can either check what the setting is by holding the trigger and it will flash and then you can program it 
Or if you don't want to do that, just hold the trigger and you can program it that way to save yourself a little time. This particular mode, uh, let's just make sure it worked. Three, four, good. So this particular mode, one pull means zero balls per second added. Two pulls means 0.1 balls per second gets added, all up to 10 pulls, which is 0.9. So if I want to make it 10.3, one, two, three, four, zero, point one, point two, point three. Now I'm set at 10.3 balls per second. So I'm just below the 10.5. If you like that kind of stuff, it's there for you. I'll put it back to one. This is zero again. And the final one is blue. Blue is our debounce. Our debounce set is set to five. One millisecond increments. You can set it to whatever you would like to get more bounce, less bounce. Uh, it goes from zero to 50. So you can go to mode zero like it's an old wasp board and go nuts and have the gun spray and paint if you want. Or you can set it kind of reasonably to just go play, you know. And with that, that concludes the video manual of how to operate the uh, 2K5, 2K6, Gen 3, Gen 4, whatever you want to call it, Intimidator board from uh, 40PB. This is Andrew at 40PB. Thanks for watching.